Hello everybody, this is Dan or Crazy Bad Cuber. Today's video is going to be about the new part of the Cubicle's website called Cubicle Custom. So as you guys know, at the Cubicle you can buy Angstrom puzzles, you can buy Cubicle Labs puzzles, and these are all modified types of puzzles. But when you buy this, you basically just get what you get. You can, you know, if you get a black puzzle, you can, you know, want the specific type of sticker scheme, things like that. But uh, you're not really given opportunity with different types of magnets and things like that and all the different types of lubrication. So in order, instead of putting like, you know, what you want as a, a specific custom change to it, this way you can just build them the way you want it and then they'll ship it to you and it kind of saves a lot of time and energy by doing that. So today we're going to review two different puzzles from Cubicle Custom. All right, so the two that I got are the GAN 354 and also the Little Magic. The 354 I got in stickerless because I like the stickerless colors of the new GAN puzzles and the Little Magic I got in black just so I can see what the difference is between black and stickerless. So one of each and I'm really excited to get into these. So let's go ahead and open them. All right, so the first thing I'm getting is the GES Nuts. So we saw this also in my review video of the 356X. So it looks like they have put the yellow ones in um, and the green ones are out. We also get a cubicle branded stand in blue and the puzzle itself. All right. Okay, so I'll be going over the specs of this. Um, so it is pretty greasy and I can see some of the lubricant black because I got black for the core. Pretty greasy out of the box. Uh, so I'm gonna have to wipe this thing down. I will say that this is um, the most lubricated on the outside puzzle uh, that I have received from them. So I hope it's not over lubed, but I doubt it. They never really are. They're usually perfectly lubed, um, but there is quite a lot on here. So I'm just gonna get some off so I can actually play with this thing. And you also gotta wipe your hands after because it gets all over your hands as well. All right, so also on the puzzle, we have the Cubicle Custom new logo. So it's got like a CC. I'm not sure exactly which way that's supposed to go, but it's pretty, uh, pretty mirrored. So I don't think it really matters, but I like the logo. I think it's really nice. Okay, so I'm expecting this to turn a little gummy at first and then open up over the next couple days or a couple hours, depending on how long it takes. But let's try first turns. Just like the 356X, the 354 is definitely a very smooth puzzle. But yes, it is a little slow, a little gummy, but I completely expect for that to go away. Um, so this is 54 millimeters as, you know, 3x3 54, which is where they get 354 from. Um, Magnetic strength so far. I mean, right now it's really nice, but it is hard to tell uh, while it's still gummy. Once it gets a little bit faster, I'll be able to tell. But I'm, so far I'm really liking it. Uh, I, I don't mind the size. It's a little bit of a smaller puzzle. But yeah, overall, so far my first impressions of this is that it is very quiet. It's very smooth. It's soft. It's buttery. It's, uh, it's everything that I expected it to be. So let's go on and open the next one. All right, so this is the little magic with magnets in it. Okay, so again, we get another stand. And, oh, I'm really liking the shades. I'm really liking these shades. Okay. All right, so again, the cubicle logo on there and it's quite a light puzzle. Ooh, so far, that turns really, ooh, maybe it's just that the lubricant is stuck, but it feels a little bit tight right off the bat. Oh yeah, that is, uh, I don't know. I got the medium magnets with this as well, and I'll show you guys the website here in a little bit as well, but um, so far, <laughs> as you can see, you do a U and it, and it basically just lines up perfectly. Um, but it is, it is quite, uh, quite gummy as well. A little clacky, a little bit tight for me. 
So I'm going to assume these are going to get faster. I don't remember exactly what I said about the little magic, but let's take a look. So overall, I'm really happy with this cube. The performance is really great. Uh, that being said, it is a budget cube as well. I won't be using it as my main, but I do highly recommend this, especially for the price. So I expect these are gonna get better. So I'm gonna go and solve on these for a while. And in the meantime, let's check out the Cubicles website and see exactly how you guys can customize your own puzzles. So this is Cubicle Custom and you can get to it through the cubicle.us. If you go through cubicle.com, it will reroute you here. But let's go into a uh, little magic because I did a little magic and now you can choose between black and stickerless. Uh, magnetic choice, you, they're all a $20 markup. The price is already $12.99, so that would make it $32.99. So I think I chose the standard one, which is like the medium. I chose Lubical Black for the core. You can choose all sorts of different ones if you'd like. And then DNM 37, Dignitas, Gravitas, I chose. But you have all these choices here if you already know which kind of lubes that you want. And then of course, um, you know, I it's black, so you can choose your custom sticker one. But that's basically how you do it. I mean, you can go back and you can choose any one of these that you want. GTS2, go ahead and do that. Now you can do the same thing over here. And uh, so this makes it very, very personal and a very custom cube. So I've had these two puzzles for a little while now and in these solves you're watching now too, I alternate back and forth between the Gan and the Yushin Little Magic. But the break-in process was different for both. Now, as I expected, both of them came a little bit gummy and it took a while to mix those lubes up and to break it in till they were fast puzzles. Now, I have the GAN 356X, which is currently my main, and I'm comparing the GAN 354 to that. And I haven't done any angstrom, you know, lubrications to that one. Uh, I didn't do Gravitas and Dignitas and Lubical Black and DNM 37. I used other lubes and it is a really, really nice cube. Now this is exactly what I expected from the Cubicle Custom when I ordered it with those lubes. It is a little bit more gummy, it's actually softer. I think it personally turns better than the GAN 356X. However, I'm more of a fan of the 56 millimeter instead of the 54 millimeter. Uh, I still get great times on the, uh, on the GAN 354. It's definitely turned into a really nice, smooth, buttery, fast type of puzzle. The magnet strength is perfect. Um, so I'm really, really pleased with that. However, with the uh, Yushin Little Magic M, um, it's not the same experience I had with the first one. I think the lubes I chose for that one um, just didn't really work out that well. It's still like a really tight puzzle. If I loosen it, I'll, uh, it, just, it just starts to deform a little bit. So I put it back into tensions. And that being said, I'm still getting really good times on it. But out of the two, I'm definitely preferring the GAN 354. The Yushin Little Magic, it actually sped up a lot faster and lost that gummy feeling a lot faster than the 354. But overall, it is a budget cube that I've now turned into a pro cube, but it's just not working out quite as good as I hoped. So I got exactly what I was expecting from the Cubicle Custom, which was very well, properly set up, lubricated, perfectly tensioned puzzles. I think they did the best they could with the Yushin Little Magic. It is a budget cube um, and this thing has sped up quite a lot and uh, I'm really enjoying how it is now but I feel like still even the magnets are a little bit too strong for the speed and uh, the, the lubrication though is absolutely 100% perfect now that it's all broken in and really nice. The GAN 354 is where I'm at though like this thing is just buttery smooth like it is really nice. I will say that the lubrical black that they put on the inside, uh, sometimes it seeps out. I think they put quite a lot in there too, so I'll take a cap off and just show you this. Like, I mean, look at the cap. It's got this black dot on it, and the actual uh, puzzle itself is just really like coated in it right there. It's You can see how wet that is. So there's a lot there, and it gets on your hands a little bit, like right there, and uh, it's really hard to get off. So I, I really don't recommend taking the caps off and even just from that, like look at what's on the puzzle. So if you get Lubical Black with a sticker list or maybe something that has the nuts, like again, like GES nuts or whatever, expect to get some lube um, on the outside for the first while. And it has been a continuous thing, um, but it's not a lot. And it, like you can see it coming right here as well, right? So. 
it's not a lot that comes out, but it comes out often. So I'm pretty sure at some point that's going to calm down. Now, usually I say if you guys want these puzzles, you can get the link at the top of the description. However, you might not want these puzzles, so I'll link the actual Cubicle Custom page down there. And if you guys want a discount, you can use Crazy Bad Cuber at checkout and get it even cheaper. So thanks to the Cubicle for sending me these awesome puzzles. This is the one here. This one here. Uh, this one here is really, really good. This one's all right too. But this is my new one of my new favorites like this and the GAN 356X. Like this whole design is amazing. I'm sure you guys know. Anyways, thanks for watching guys. Thanks to the cubicle for sending me this and I'll see you guys in the next video.